I'm going to install a new upper intake boot on my E46 with an M52TU, which is also the M54 engine, it's the same basic engine. The part number for this upper boot is 13541705209. And I'm replacing it because of a crack in the tube. right here, which is a common air leak. Just put that aside and you want to take the snorkel off first which is just held on by some plastic rivets. You pull out the center pin and pull out the plastic rivet and separate it right here. And just get that out of the way. That just pops right off. I have the bolts removed right here and I also have my clamps already loose so I've already done some work on this I just left it loose so I knew I was going to make some more videos on this disconnect my mass airflow sensor I can leave my mass airflow sensor completely installed and take out the air box as a complete unit this connection can be sometimes difficult to remove but if you take a screwdriver with some white lithium on it and you just slide it into the boot and work your way around it. I've already done that before when I was playing around with this vehicle, so it's already got some grease on it. It just helps to work this plastic piece free. You don't want to break that part there. And uh, these clamps are eight millimeter, and it's better to use a, a wobble tool like this. This is a hazard tool. I don't know if it has a part number on it or not. I don't see when I wore, I wore it off over the years I've had this tool. And uh, basically you can get a wobble extension that uh, you can put a quarter inch socket on. This one's all one piece so I don't have to worry about the ends falling off and it fits perfectly onto these clamps. And I believe that's uh, Sorry, that's actually a 6mm, not an 8mm on this end. So these clamps are actually 6mm. And the next step would be to take the clamp off the back too. That makes, this tool makes it easy. You just have to loosen that up. Sometimes these clamps are facing ways where it's difficult to get to. That's why these wobble tools are nice, especially um, the one down for the throttle. That way you can sneak in here and and actually get a good angle when you're uh, taking those off. So this should be loose. Basically you just have to work it free. There's a plastic retaining ring between this boot and the next throttle boot, which goes down to the throttle itself. So just have to work this free. A lot of times they'll just pop off. Sometimes you have to get in there and persuade them a little bit. But okay, So that's it right there. And this is that plastic ring. Now I didn't touch this clamp here. This clamp is only holding on this plastic ring, which I don't even have to touch. So I'm not going to loosen that second clamp. You actually have two clamps right next to each other. That's probably still in the original factory position because there's no reason to replace that. So here's my new part. Swap my clamp over. Amazing the difference in suppleness between this one here, which is probably original, and the new one. Make sure your clamps are facing in a direction that you have easy access to go ahead and tighten those up. You can put a little bit of white lithium on this if you want to. Push that into place, it should slide right over. Okay. And then you want to make sure that you turn it so that this is going to fit with the air filter box. You, know, you could install it really any direction you want. So just eyeball it so that it's nice and straight so you have easy fit for the air box. Make sure your clamp is in the right spot. Just go ahead and clamp that down. And 
install the suction jet line and the boots installed. Nice and easy. Air box. Yep, that's a good fit. You can always loosen that and move it if it doesn't seem to like it wants to sit right. Don't forget to plug in your mass airflow sensor. You'll set a check engine light if you leave that off. Just snug that down. Basically done. It's a nice, quick, easy, simple install.